Hi, welcome back to Educator.com. Today's lesson will be identifying black keys and talking about whole steps and half steps and chromatic and enharmonic. These are new terms that we will be learning. Our lesson objectives are identifying black keys on the keyboard by their enharmonic names. They can be called sharps or flats. The definition of a sharp or a flat and placement of sharps and flats on the staff, identifying whole and half steps using our black keys. So let's begin with sharp keys. Very simple. Sharp keys are the black keys, in most cases, above the white keys that you want to sharp or make higher. To sharp something is to make it a half step higher. Before we find them, let's listen to some sharp keys on the keyboard. Okay. Here's a C natural, our middle C, there's C sharp. Here's D, there's D sharp. It's a different, so here's C, D, E, just white keys. Now we're going to add our black keys. It's a smaller interval. Here's F, G, A, B natural, just plain old white keys. Let's add our sharp keys, F, F sharp. G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. It's a smaller interval. So let's find them on the, on the picture of the keyboard. First, let's draw the names of the white keys. Okay, C sharp, the black key above C natural, C sharp. D sharp, the black key above D natural, D sharp. E sharp is F natural. This is a white key sharp. It happens. Okay, F to F sharp. Here is one half step above F, F sharp. This is G sharp. It's right above G. A sharp is right above A. B sharp, hmm, another white key sharp. So in two instances, we have white keys that, are that can be called a sharp. Now, these sharp keys can also be called flats. The flat keys are also easy to find. Let's begin by drawing the names of the white keys. And it sounds just like the example I played before. But here is the black key below D. We start with this one. This is D flat. This one is the black key below E, E flat. Black key below G, G flat. Black key below A, A flat. Black key below B, B flat. Now I didn't talk about F flat. That's E natural. So here is our white key. C flat is B natural. So when we have the D flat, it's also C sharp. This is N harmonic. N harmonic is a name, a word that refers to one note being called two different things. So let's move on. Whole steps using black keys. We know that whole steps using white keys, we count, let's listen, we count one, one white key. Here's a half step from C to C sharp. From C sharp to D is another half step. C to D is one whole step. Let's begin this time on C sharp. C sharp, half step to D, and then from D to D sharp is another half step. So two half steps equals one whole step. From C sharp to D sharp is a whole step. So that's the sound of a whole step, very, very similar to a white key whole step. And let's find our C sharp on the keyboard. Here's a C sharp. C sharp to D natural is one half step. D natural to D sharp is another half step. So two half steps equals one whole step. So I'll draw a W for whole step. Okay, that is pretty simple. When you're going in a set of two or three from one to the next is a whole step. F sharp to G sharp is a whole step. G sharp to A sharp is a whole step. Now, when we're going from a black key to a white key, it gets a little more complicated. D sharp to E is one half step. E to F natural is another half step. So this F natural, as you remember, is also called E sharp. This is a whole step. The same is true for A sharp. A sharp to B natural is one half step. B natural to C 
is another half step. So A sharp to C, or as we would call it in this case, A sharp to B sharp is a whole step. Let's do the same thing using flats. So this is also called, in addition to be called being called D sharp, it's also E flat. These are the same. E flat to E natural is one half step. E natural to F is another half step. So two half steps equals one whole step. Half step plus half step equals whole. Usually we use an H for half. So from now on when I write an H, you'll know that it's going to be referring to a half step. So let's take that with the same thing over here. B natural, here's a B flat. So B flat to B natural is one half step. B natural to C is another half step. So we have B to C is a whole step. Okay.